Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and today I've got a very simple tutorial for you guys. Now, first of all, I want to say sorry for not posting a video in a while. Well, that's just because I have had no ideas for videos, and to be perfectly honest, I got the idea for this video through something that we did in my fourth period class today in school, which uh, if you guys don't know, which you probably don't know because you don't know me in real life, is that I'm taking a, graphics, a graphic design course my fourth period in school and so we get to play around with Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator all the time so today in class we did a very simple thing which was how to make something that looks like this basically what we were doing was we were messing with color combinations you know like uh, primary colors, secondary colors uh, monochromatic colors, warm colors, dark colors, and stuff like that. And so my teacher made us make a uh, sort of graphic with a bunch of circles to go ahead and turn out to look something a little bit like the thing that you're seeing right in front of you guys right now. And I thought that this looked really cool. I went ahead and printed this out on a piece of paper and it looked extremely awesome. And I thought, hey, this would be really good to go ahead and send to someone if you're like making a birthday card or something. So yeah, so I thought that this was cool and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this right now inside of Adobe Illustrator. You can do this in any version of Adobe Illustrator, but I'm going to show you guys in Adobe Illustrator CS4. Now, uh, I did this on Adobe Illustrator CS, which I believe is the first version, which is the only version that we have in school. And so to align these uh, circles up, we actually had to align them up normally. But However, we have an auto-align tool in CS4, which makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to stop talking now, and I'm going to start getting to the tutorial. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go here to Create New and go ahead and click on Print Document in case you guys want to print this out. And I'm going to change the width to 8.5 by 11 inches, and I'm going to keep the units to inches, by the way, not pixels like I normally do in my videos. I'm going to do inches, and the reason for 8.5 by 11 is because that's the standard size of a normal piece of paper, if you guys want to go ahead and print this out of an ordinary printer. So let's go ahead and click OK, and we should get a canvas that looks like this. So anyway, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go over here and select our ellipse tool. If you don't have it selected, just hold down the rectangle tool and uh, keep on selecting until you find the ellipse tool. Once that's done, you want to hold down the shift key to go ahead and create a perfect circle and then go ahead and drag till you have your circle. So I'm going to make my circle around there and I'm going to go here into the swatches tab and I'm going to make it orange or not red orange, orange because I made the mistake in my other video by making it red orange and I'm gonna go and I'm going to make it so it has no stroke but I gotta click on it and make it so it has no stroke so it's just an orange blob now you wanna go ahead and select on the circle with the selection tool go ahead and hit command and C if you're on a Mac control and C if you're on a Windows PC basically to go ahead and copy and paste then go ahead and click command and V or control and V to go ahead and paste and I'm just going to refer to this as copy and paste. So as you notice as I'm dragging along here, as you see these two little green lines up there, that is the auto align tool. Now in Adobe uh, Illustrator CS, which is what we have at school, we didn't have this uh, green alignment tool and we had to go ahead and we had to align them ourselves. So this green al auto alignment tool actually helps us a lot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of those. I'm going to go ahead and click Control C and Control V. I keep on saying Control because I did that at school, but I'm just going to go ahead and align that up. And now I'm going to go ahead and select all of those, copy them and paste them. And I'm going to align them sort of to the side here, like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and just copy all of this and I'm going to paste it. And let's go ahead and just use the align to align it up. I'm going to paste some more to around, let's say here. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these, actually. And I'm going to go hold down Shift to go ahead and um, make them a little bit smaller so I can actually go ahead and fit more of them on the screen because we like lots of circles. And so now that we've got all those, now I'm just going to go ahead and copy this whole row and paste that and align that and that's pretty much it so now I'm just going to select the whole thing and I'm going to align it to fit the whole canvas and for fun let's just go ahead and center it so it's in the center so now as you see here we've got all of our circles aligned like this so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and select an entire row of circles so go ahead and select one by going ahead and clicking that then hold down shift and go ahead and keep on selecting another circles so I'm going to select an entire row except for one circle I'm going to go ahead and click control and C you can control and V and I'm going to go ahead and go here to the transparency tab and make the opacity to around 50 percent so around there 
And I'm also going to go ahead and change the color of this to red. But that is the stroke, and I do not want the stroke to be red. I want the stroke to be nothing. So now, as you see here, I have the uh, red circles. So now I'm just going to go ahead and align them to be right around in the center of these things right here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click Control C, Control V, and it's Command, but I'm so used to saying Control. And we go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. Control C, Control V, paste it. And there we go. We have all of our circles right around there like that and so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start making another row of circles so we want to go ahead to the top layer of orange circles and we want to go ahead and select that entire row copy and paste them and we're gonna go ahead and go and change the opacity to 50 percent as we always do and I'm gonna change the color of that to yellow once again I made the stroke yellow. So now we have that, like that, and now we're just going to go ahead and align it up with the top. So I'm going to go ahead and align them around there, which is good. Maybe center them. Now I'm going to go ahead and click copy and paste, and we're going to keep on doing this. And so now let's go ahead and not only select that, but go ahead and keep selecting there. And they overlap a little bit, but We'll get over it. Wait, so I'll just paste some more in. And realign them, and then bam. So let's go ahead and delete the bottom row of those. And then, as you notice, there we have our yellow circles, like the way we want them. So now, what we want to do is to make it look better, we want to just go ahead and delete the corner, cir the corner circles. So it looks like that. And now, what we want to do is grab our ellipse tool again, hold down shift, and create one big circle. And we want to go ahead and try to align it to the center. So around there is actually good. And I'm going to go ahead and change the color of that to white. And I'm going to make the transparency of that 50% as well. And then you're done. You have your color circles in the background, and then you have your white circle in the middle. And you can feel free to go ahead and put whatever text you want to in the white circle that's in the middle. This is great if you guys want to make covers for like birthday cards or gift wrapping and whatever, and it looks really cool. And yeah, so I don't really have anything else to say to that too. So yeah, so that's how to go ahead and make a really cool color circle kind of effect. Try you can use any colors you want to, but make sure the colors you need look great and make sure it looks pretty decent and make sure it's just not a whole bunch of random colors. So yeah, but if you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. So yeah, so that's how to go ahead and make sort of a uh, cool uh, multi-circle color card inside of Adobe Illustrator. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave any suggestions for videos you want me to make in the future in the comments below because I am really struggling to come up with video ideas right now. So yeah, leave comments in the comments below. <laughs> Sorry I can't talk today. And um, yeah, so thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye guys. I really need to stop talking.